Hi guys, this is Zach from Watches on You, and today I'm going to be taking a look at a very nice watch. This is the IWC Portofino Handwound Day and Date. So now, let's take this watch down to the table and get a closer look at it. Okay guys, here's the watch in greater detail, and right away I'm going to go over this watch's 45mm stainless steel case. Now the case is very, very elegant. You can see that there's no bezel right there, and that these lugs are very nice and thin, and it's all polished. It just leads to a very classic and elegant look, and I really like it. The one thing is though, being a 45mm dress watch, that is very, very large. I mean, I IWC's dress watches tend to be large, but 45 millimeters, that's a bit much for me. I like more 40 millimeter watches, but some of you like big watches, so I'm sure those would be fine with you. But now moving on to the dial. Now the dial is this very elegant, white, creamy, silver color, and it just looks fantastic, especially when paired with those polished hands and indices, and that beautiful brush sub-dial right there. It looks absolutely fantastic. But now moving on to the complications. So the complications are it has 8 day power reserve, which is huge. You can see right there the indicator going up to 8 right there, and when I wind it, it goes up can see that. So eight days, I mean that's over a week. That is a huge power reserve. It also has the day on the right at three o'clock and then running seconds at six with that cool metal sub dial and then you have a large date at towards the twelve o'clock traditionally where a logo would be. Now this just gives the watch a very elegant look how they made their logo so small just the dial stays very clean and that really is true with all Portofinos. They tend to just be IWC's ultra minimalist just they just look extremely elegant, except for their size, I will say. So now I'm going to move on to a wrist shot. The strap is a little bit long here, so it's a little hard to get on. Bear with me. So on the wrist, as I said, 45 millimeters. That is very, very large. This watch, I have a 7-inch wrist, and it is quite big on my wrist, especially for a dress watch. So I, this isn't really with my taste, but I know some of you like large watches, and this would be perfect for you. I mean, look at it, though. It is super elegant still. And the thickness is, it's a little thick, too, for a dress watch, but you could easily manage it. So, yeah, it's very, very, it's very large, but it still looks incredible on the wrist. So now I'm actually going to go on to the movement, which I failed to explain earlier. So the movement is, it's an IWC caliber, and it is finished absolutely superbly. I mean, you can see that the beautiful Cote de Genève running vertically there, and then some beautiful prelage down by the balance wheel. I mean, it looks absolutely stunning. You can just see that. You see the beautiful barrel right there, which is extremely large to create its eight-day power reserve, which again is absolutely fantastic. So, Overall, this is a, just, it's a very well-made watch, and the price is $13,000 even, and I think that's not a bad price. IWCs are very high quality. You see the movement. I mean, the finishing is unreal. You get an eight-day power reserve and a few complications there. I think it's a very, very good value, actually, even though it is very large, and that's not really my taste, so that is for sure one thing to consider. consider. But thank you for watching this video. Remember to like, subscribe, and share. Thank you.